Welcome back to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. This time around we're going to have a look at port flap dampening, also known as link error disable. So the point of this command uh, and this feature is to, if a port flaps X number of times, would you specify within a period of time that you specify, it will hold the port down either permanently or for a number of seconds. So for example, you can choose to configure if this port flaps three times within 60 seconds, I want to hold the port down for 300 seconds. So let's have a look at how to configure that. So we go into config T and this feature is done on a port by port basis on the physical port. You can do it on a range of ports, of course. Um, but we go into the interface itself, so we'll just choose an interface that happens to be up at the moment. And we're going to do a, um, the command is actually link-error-disable. And then it wants to know how many times we, we want to count. So we'll say three times within X number of seconds. So anywhere from one to six, five, five, three, five seconds. So we'll say three times in 60 seconds. And if that happens, we, how long do you want to hold it down for? So, um, you know, it could be anywhere from, you know, zero to six, five, five, three, five, zero being forever. So it'll never bring that port up until there's manual intervention. In this case, we're going to say 300 seconds, right? So, it'll, so it can flap three times within 60 seconds, and then it holds it down for 300 seconds before it tries again. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn on uh, login console just so we can see the syslog entries. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, actually, before we do that, let's have a look at it. So show um, link error disable. Right, so show link error disable all shows me that uh, it, it, without the all there, it would have shown me only things that were shut down at that point. Um, so port 111 is where I have it turned on. I have a threshold of three. I have a sample time of 60. I have a shutoff time of 300. And it's currently in an idle state. So it is not triggered at the moment. So once we trigger it, we are going to see something in there. And we're going to see the counter being how many seconds are left before. So I'm just going to unplug and replug that port a couple times and we're going to see the syslog messages come up. There's two and one more should do it. And there we go. So we see the syslog writing the fact that the link flapped exceeded the threshold and it's in port error disable state. So at this point uh, if I just do a, a show link error disable, it says that it was forced down. And then if I look at the all feature here, uh, we can see that the port is now in a state down rather than idle as it was before. And there's 279 seconds before it brings that port back up again. If I look at the interface, show interface E1 slash 1 1, we can see that it is in error disable state, line protocol is down. And then we can tell that link error disabling is enabled here. So, um, so that's, that's really all you can tell from that state there uh, and how long the port's been down for. So it's been down for 35 seconds when I ran that command. Um, so we get 241 seconds left. So, so you can manually, if you want to, go into that port and uh, disable and enable if you want to bring it up before that fact. So if we do a disable on the port, and then enable, then it will come back up if you manually want to retry. But the important point to uh, port link dampening, or port flap dampening, I should say, is that it will stop other devices from causing, you know, many spanning tree reconvergences. Or if you're running, you know, something like OSPF or BGP, you know, you can stop um, neighbors from flapping up and down and causing CPU cycles on your device. Um, due to, you know, a bad link or, or something that needs to be manually configured. All right, so that's it, and thanks for joining.